Welcome to our Champion Data Guide where we've tested the best modular helmets of this moment to find the best one for 2021. This means we've collected our top five contenders and we've sent our rider on his way to measure their performance using measuring instruments. He came back with plenty of very interesting data, so stay tuned to see which helmet earned the title of the best modular helmet for 2021. Sebastian from Champion Helmets here, and modular helmets are designed to give a balance of the safety of a full-face helmet with the convenience of an open-face helmet. This makes them excellent for touring and city riding, since you get the great option of being able to simply flip that chin bar up instead of wrestling the helmet off. But the question still remains of which modular helmet is the best, and this means taking these helmets out on our road test where we measure the noise level, ventilation, and more to determine which really brings the best performance. The helmets we'll be testing include the AGV Sport Modular, x Light X1005 Ultra Carbon, HJC Arfa 9 ds Carbon, Shoei Neo Tech 2, and the Schubert C4 Pro Carbon, though we have tested more helmets. We'll still be including the results as we go along, and you can always see more on any of these helmets here in our dedicated helmet reviews and road tests. Before we get to testing these helmets out, don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel, where we have plenty more of our data-driven helmet road tests where we measure their performance in the real world and bring you the data. As we get to our comparison, here's a quick reminder for how we set up our road test. On the left, we have a white monitor showing the helmet's internal temperature in degrees Celsius from a thermometer placed in the helmet's EPS. In the middle, we have our decibel meter showing the helmet's noise level from a microphone placed near our rider's ear. And lastly, on the right, we have the day's average airspeed on the helmet measured from a bike-mounted anemometer. In the middle on the dash, we have our rider's average speed and the exterior temperature. We performed all of our tests on long stretches of highway at 130 km per hour or 80 miles per hour, and we took averages throughout. Before we head into the data, we also wanted to bring up that we've updated our helmet ranking matrices. Since we've tested so many helmets over the years and expanded our data set, we have added a new category and updated our ranking to make sure that we can bring you an even more accurate testing method. First up, as far as material, we're already looking at the top end of the market, which means top end constructions. But first, here's how we ranked our helmets. We have the shell material along the top of our matrix with a number of shell sizes along the vertical axis. Both are important factors since, though all these materials are strong, they will have different properties when it comes to weight and a proportional fit. The AGV Sport Modular, Schubert C4 Pro Carbon, and the x Lite X1005 Ultra Carbon are coming fully composed of carbon fiber in three outer shell sizes, which earns each helmet four stars. This means that the r 90 s Carbon is coming in with three outer shell sizes made of PIM Plus Carbon, which is a carbon aramid and fiberglass composite with a higher carbon content for weight reduction. So since it is not fully carbon, the helmet earns three and a half stars. The Neotech 2 is also coming in three outer shell sizes, but with an advanced integrated matrix fiberglass composite construction. And this means that it includes special organic fibers from Shoei for greater flexibility, thus earning the helmet three and a half stars. So although we have no huge differences yet on this criterion, we have the AGV, x Lite, and Schubert in the lead with their carbon shells. But how will this translate into weight? Though we have a close race so far, we do get an interesting picture looking at these helmets' weight. We rank these helmets according to our matrix once again with different weight bands helping to determine how our helmets rank depending on their weight. Modular helmets do tend towards the heavier side of things, and that is no difference with the Shoei and HJC, since they're coming in at about an average with 1,660 grams, three pounds, 10 and a half ounces, and 1,521 grams, or three pounds, six ounces. This earns the Shoei three stars for weight and the HJC four. So though these are some of the best premium touring options, those features do come at a cost. Regarding our carbon fiber helmets, we actually have a very interesting weight result. Our helmets are coming in at three ends of the spectrum. The lightest helmet is undoubtedly the AGV Sport Modular with its 1,340 grams, 3 pounds, while in the middle we have the Schubert C4 Pro Carbon at 1,480 grams, or 3 pounds, 4 ounces. And the heaviest, unfortunately, is the X1005 Ultra Carbon at 1,710 grams, or 3 pounds, 12 ounces. Perhaps we need another Ultra to help cut that weight even further. This was a surprisingly high weight for a carbon fiber helmet, especially looking at the Sport Modular's result, as well as the Schubert's. And some of this may be coming from the helmet's more safety-focused dual-action chin bar mechanism. 
All this data means that the AGV and X Light and Schubert earn five, four, and three stars respectively, which also represents today's highs, mids, and lows for weight. For the visor, all these helmets are coming with what we're hoping to see. This means that looking at our matrix, the main features we're looking for are what sort of anti-fog options there are, since this is so crucial, but we do also take the visor mechanism into account as far as quality and ease of use. So these helmets are all coming pinlock prepared with the insert in the box and a drop down sun visor to cut down on glare, which means that they cover enough criteria to ostensibly earn a decent number of stars. But what about their mechanisms? At the bottom, because of its weak lever visor mechanism, we actually have the AGV Sport Modular, but it still does earn three and a half stars thanks to that drop down visor. We then have the HJC and the X Lite coming in the middle with their quick release visors and decent mechanisms. Above these, we have the Schubert at four and a half stars thanks to its additional noise reducing turbulators, but we do have an outstanding helmet that needs to be mentioned. The Shoei Neo Tech 2. This is mainly because the visor system on the Neo Tech 2 has been incredibly well designed since it uses springs to pull the visor into the helmet's shell, thus creating a tight seal without negatively impacting visor replacement or lifting the visor while on the bike. So that this means that the helmet does come in as earning a full five stars for the visor, which more than makes up for its poorer weight result. All right, so now we come to one of the main questions for modular touring helmets, noise. This means we've swapped our studio for the comfort of our test bike, where our rider has taken each of these helmets out on the road to see how they perform. As far as how we rank these helmets, we once more used our rating matrix with our different marking bands, with a sub 100 decibel helmet being the most desirable result. When we tested out our helmets, the day's average airspeed was at about 115 to 130 kilometers per hour, which made for ideal testing conditions, since this means our data is much more comparable and testing conditions were consistent. Now we can dive into our data and we have a very interesting set of results. Most of our helmets came in at about the 100 to 101 decibel mark, which is already a very strong performance, and we see a surprise climber here alongside the Shoei with the Shark Evo GT. But there are two helmets that really brought us an incredible degree of noise isolation. First was the Schubert C4 Pro, which thanks to its limited number of vents, visor turbulators, and excellent liner gave us a result of 99 decibels, earning it an outstanding four and a half stars. But even more incredible was the HJC R490 S Carbon, which was the quietest modular helmet we've ever tested, with a result of only 97 decibels, which matches it up with our two quietest full-face helmets, the Shoei GTR2 and the HJC R470 Carbon. This was, even for us, quite a surprising result. Unsurprisingly though, this earns the helmet five stars. Noise is only one half of the story though, because quiet helmets tend to not do so great on ventilation. So let's move on to see how manufacturers balance this. Besides noise isolation, ventilation is another important aspect of a helmet's performance on the road. Once again, we ranked our helmets based on the difference between the interior and exterior temperature to keep them comparable and to keep our ranking fair. And all things considered, we have an incredibly interesting set of results. Though the HJC was the quietest, it and the X1005 Ultra Carbon actually came in at about the same temperature as the outside. It was the slightly louder Shoei Neotech 2, Schubert C4 Pro, and AGV Sport Modular that offered the best ventilation since they were each one degree cooler to the outside which earns them five stars. It's also worth mentioning the Shark Evo GT's strong performance for ventilation since it also came in one degree cooler to the outside, which is thanks to its completely reworked vents. And you also have the great option of flipping the chin bar back 180 degrees if you still need more air. So a very interesting set of results, but we still have the comfort and features rankings to cover. So let's see how our helmets will fare. Before going into features, we also need to consider how each of these helmets does for comfort. This is our only subjective category and we use it to cover soft aspects of the helmet that are difficult to capture in data. For this ranking, we rely on the expertise of our test rider with his 15 plus years of riding experience to weigh in the helmet's bulkiness, wind drag, build quality, and more. Back to comfort though, all the interiors of the helmets we have today are removable, washable, fit glasses, and are antibacterially treated. They are, after all, the best modular helmets you can get today. Starting with the Sport Modular, we ultimately found it not as comfortable as we hoped, even with its hot, cold weather reversible liner, earning it three and a half stars. We then have the x Lite and HJC just above this with four stars each, though the X1005 Ultra Carbon does offer an adjustable liner. However, we found that the most comfortable modulars were the Shoei and Schubert. 
The Schubert C4 Pro Carbon, with its velvet-like liner and incredible level of plush comfort, unsurprisingly earns 5 stars. And the Neotech 2, with its carefully crafted and interchangeable liner, also earns 5 stars. A fun detail our rider shared with us was that Shoei have added a softer material specifically for behind the ear, since this is a more sensitive area. This really shows how Shoei have made sure to keep up their eye for detail. It's also worth noting once more that from our runners up, the Nolan N105 Plus and the Shark Evo GT did surprisingly well for comfort, each also earning 4 stars thanks to their adjustable liners for improved fits. Unfortunately, our other runner up, the Roof Boxer Carbon, did not do as well for comfort, earning it only 2 stars, mainly due to its focus on style over comfort and performance. This means we have only to cover features before we can finally see how our helmets ranked and scored. Though these helmets are top of the line, manufacturers also incorporate additional features and functions that also make each helmet unique. This is where we use the features category to really take a look at what manufacturers have worked into their helmets. We learned that the Neotech 2, R490S Carbon, and X1005 Ultra Carbon scored 4 stars, and all these helmets are coming prepared for a communication system, though the Schubert takes this a step further with full plug-and-play functionality, which really builds on the helmet's convenience. And, though the X1005 Ultra Carbon is not as advanced in this regard, it is interesting since it and its Nolan cousin use a dual-action opening system. This means that you have improved safety, while the elliptical mechanism means you get a more aerodynamic profile when the chin bar is flipped up. Lastly, it's important to keep in mind that only some of these helmets are dual-certified for riding with the chin bar down or up. These include the HJC, Shoei, and X-Lite, and this shows manufacturers taking the extra step for additional homologations. This is why the Schubert, unfortunately, scores lower in this category. The Shark Evo GT also stands out here with 3 stars for features, thanks to its 180-degree flip-up mechanism, which also improves the helmet's aerodynamics as you ride. With our testing and individual ranking over with, we can now see how each of our helmets ranked, including our runners-up. This is where it's important to also consider consistency in the results, since you ideally want a helmet that will do well across the board. So far, the Schubert C4 Pro Carbon is offering up a great set of scores, though it is very closely followed by both the AGV Sport Modular, Shoei Neotech 2, and the HJC R490S Carbon. Though the X1005 Ultra Carbon does offer a decent level of performance in most areas, it was let down by its higher weight and poor noise isolation. Compared to our runners-up, we also see some slightly more volatile scores in both the Nolan N105 Plus and the Roof Boxer Carbon. The Shark Evo GT also ranked surprisingly well, though it was let down by its polycarbonate outer shell in only two outer shell sizes. But there is still one question. What happens when you take these scores and factor in the price? While we have a number of helmets ranking very highly, each one is bringing you a different level of features and performance at a different price. This is why we also need to take the price of these helmets into account. This means that we've taken our contenders and runners up for today, ordered them according to their average scores and euro per star values, and assigned them additional stars according to our formula. So how will our helmets rank? In 5th place, we have the X-Lite X1005 Ultra Carbon with its average number of stars at 3.7. Just above it in 4th, we have the AGV Sport Modular at 4, and the R490S Carbon at 4.1 with its strong euro per star ranking of 21. In 2nd, we have a very close race with the Shoei coming in at 4.1, at 20 and a half euros per star. Lastly, receiving the full bonus, we have the Schubert C4 Pro Carbon at 4.3 with a euro per star rating of 26. But will this affect our final scores? We have a lot of very interesting data collected and with our prices factored in, we can finally see which touring modular helmet is the best for 2021. Coming in at 5th place, we have the X-Lite X1005 Ultra Carbon with a score of 7.2 at 23 euros per star. This is not bad, though the helmet mainly suffered from a poor weight result. In fourth, we have the AGV Sport Modular with a score of 7.8 at 25 euros per star. In third, bringing an incredible level of noise isolation, we have the HJC R490S Carbon at a score of 8.1 at 21 euros per star, and this means our top two has been narrowed down to the Shoei and the Schubert, but which comes out on top. In second place, bringing excellent ventilation, comfort, and one of the most advanced visors, we have the Shoei Neotech 2 with a score of 8.4. This means we have the Schubert C4 Pro Carbon coming in at first place with a champion helmet score of 8.8 .8 at 26 euros per star. Based on prior testing, the Schubert has consistently come out on top, and even in the face of new competition from Shark and X-Lite, we've seen this confirmed once more with our data-driven approach. If you'd like to learn more about any of these helmets, then make sure to check out championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and plenty of bundle deals including additional visors or discounted communication systems. 
That wraps up our quest to find the best modular helmets of 2021. We've gone through these top helmets on our road test and brought you back our real world data to really determine which comes out on top. Though HJC, AGV, and ETS Lite are clearly keeping up the heat, the Schubert is keeping its crown by eking out a lead over the Neo Tech 2. If you want to see more details on our helmets and champion data reviews, then make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel where we bring you the facts. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.